Lynette, today we turned to the stars a few days ago. Angola sent a satellite into space. A first for the country that joins a list of African nations embarking on the conquest of space. As we will see in a moment, the stakes and benefits are multiple. Africa's con conquest of space is the subject of today's Grand Angle. Russia launched on December the 26th a rocket carrying Angosat-1, the first national telecom satellite for Angola, from its Baikonur space pad. The connection had been lost, though three days later, the contact had been re-established. The Angosat project was agreed by Russia and Angola in 2009 to boost satellite communications, internet access, radio and TV service. Around 50 Angolan aerospace engineers trained around the globe, including in Brazil, China, Japan and Russia, are overseeing the functioning of the satellite from a control center built near Luanda. With Angosat-1, which is the fifth African satellite to be launched in 2017, Angola joins the few African countries to have embarked on space exploration. Egypt is the first country in Africa to have launched its satellite in 1998. The advantages are considerable and reflect in particular the geopolitical power of the countries that possess these spacecrafts. With their precise and valuable data, they allow states to better monitor their borders, predict climate change such as drought or floods, but also enable telephone and internet communications at lower prices. But getting access to space comes at a cost. In November 2017, Morocco sent the Mohammed VI satellite into space. It cost more than $500 million to successfully launch the project. The cost of the Angolan satellite is estimated at $280 million, amounts that not all African countries can afford to spend. The African Union Working Group on Space recently approved a draft African space policy and is currently developing a comprehensive space strategy. However, even if African resources and skill sets are combined, an operational African space agency appears to be at least five to ten years away. <laughs> 